Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. It is time for another haul video. That's right, this is number two for June of 2021, and I have a lot of stuff here. I have this whole table filled up with boxes. I couldn't even fit everything on the table. I have more behind me over here, so it's gonna be a good one, and it's gonna be fun. So let's jump into it, and here we go. All right, so as we do, let's open up these bags first because, well, they're easy to get into and easy to get out of the way. So let's uh, grab these ones. I have this one right here. We'll grab this one because this is one of those pull apart ones. So let's just go ahead and uh, pull this right on apart and see what we have inside. And it looks like we have a USB webcam. Look at that. All right, this is a USB webcam and there is no brand name on here at all. It just says USB webcam, and we can see it's gonna be full HD. It says, actually, it says full HD, 4K, 2K, and two uh, megapixels, and we can see there it's going to say compatible with Linux and Xbox, and on this side, um, it says, on my side now, it says uh, Windows 7, 8, 10, Mac OS and Android. So yeah, this is cool. I guess if you have a uh, an Android tablet or something, you can use this as your webcam instead of maybe your regular webcam. So and you can use it with Mac and Windows too. So all right, um, you know what? Let's um, let's scan this and actually see. Um, let's see if it shows up on there. There is an Amazon code on here. So let's see if we can get this. Um, see if we can find out who actually belongs who who's this thing actually belongs to the the brand or the manufacturer and it is not coming up nope let me try one more again and nope it is not coming up i have no idea i have absolutely no idea i'll have to see if i can find you know what? let's do this let's open this up and maybe there is a uh maybe there's something inside that will indicate the brand name but I still don't understand why manufacturers do that, why they don't put any sort of branding, like any sort of name recognition or something on their packages, on their boxes. How is anybody supposed to know where, you know, to give you your shine or whatever? Anyways, this is a, uh, so this is a user's manual, so that's about it. Nothing really on there, just the user manual there. We are going to get uh, a mini tripod as well here, so this is a little mini tripod that we can check out. Um, if you want to check that out there, get a closer look there, see that. That is a mini tripod. And then we will actually check out the, uh, the webcam. And, oh yeah, look at that. There is a name on it. It says Passivant. Passivant webcam. So there we go. There, that is it. That is a Passivant webcam. You can see there's actually a ring light around the webcam to light up so when you're uh, recording, or live streaming or whatever that you can actually, or video conferencing, you can actually be seen a little bit clearer. So, all right, big ups on them. Nice, I like it. Well, um, Passivant, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put a link to this in the video description along with everything else so that uh, you guys can get one if you're interested. You can pick one up on your own because there are some people out there that need a webcam for work or for school or for whatever and there's some pretty janky webcams on some of these computers and, and phones and tablets today. So, all right, let's, uh, let's open up these. This one here and I know what this one is and this one, I actually, uh, this was not sent to me. I actually ordered these, but I thought I would wait till my haul video to show them to you anyways, because I get some people that ask me about this. And so I figured, why not show? So let me go ahead and put my knife up. And here we go. Put that off to the side. And they are a couple of t-shirts. And I get people that ask me about my t-shirts all the time. So I figured I'd show them. And here is one of them. I will be rocking, and there we go. We can see, let me get that out there. This one says, Stop Police Brutality right there. So check that out, Stop Police Brutality. Big ups, I like that. That's gonna be, I'm gonna have fun wearing that one because we need to stop it. It's it's ridiculous, it's, 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 it's out of control, and we need to stop it. I feel, you know, we have Stop Police Brutality. I should get another one that says also like, Stop, uh, stop Harassment, you know. And then here's the other one that I picked up. And I like that. It's just, let me see, got that out there. It's just a cool, funky photo of a, uh, 
you know, graphic of a black woman with a nice big fro and all kinds of color on there. So yeah. All right. There we go. Um, I'm going to leave links to both of those in the, uh, in the video description so that you can check them out. Cause I like both of those shirts. All right. Let's, uh, let's get this little package out of the way. Let's see what this is. And I think this one's paper. I can probably just rip this one open here and see what's inside. And let's see here. What do we have? Oh, there's one thing and two things. And this, these are a couple of, uh, of wireless earphones from Halu. And we are going to have the Halu Mori Pods and the Halu uh, GT3 True Wireless Earphones. Both of these are going to be True Wireless Earphones. And there is one right there. These are the, uh, the Mori Pods. And then this is, the, uh, this is the GT3 right there. So we can check both of those out. So yeah. All right. Big ups on them. This is going to have, uh, the Mori Pods are going to have the Qualcomm APTX adaptive. Uh, codex on there, I believe that is. And then this is going to also have uh, dual microphones for HD call quality, uh, smart touch controls, USB-C Type-C charging, and they are going to be IPX4 uh, waterproof and dustproof. And then these ones are going to have uh, wireless 5.0, uh, smart touch, 24-hour battery life. I believe that's going to be with the case on there as well. Um, it's going to have uh, a master slave switch on there. I believe that's so that you can use one earphone or the other uh, without having to have them both in. Um, you can, it looks like charge time is going to be an hour and a half. Let's see here. That's going to get fully charged. And then it doesn't say, oh, the call time is approximately four hours. That's about how much time you're going to get if you're listening to music and such on here. So, yeah. And that's for the GT3s. All right, big up. So, hey, Lou, and uh, I don't know if there's any barcode on here. Um, there is a barcode, but I don't know if it'll, I don't know if it'll come up. So let's go ahead, because it's not an Amazon barcode, but let's see if this will come up on here. Oh yeah, it looks like something's coming up. There we go. And these are going to be uh, $23.99. These are very, very affordable for truly wireless earbuds. So yeah, we can check that out there. And there we go. Those are going to be $24.99 or $23.99, so $24. Bucks. And um Let's go ahead and scan the Mori pods and see if these are going to show up there. And I don't see these ones aren't scanning. Let me try it one more again. And let's see that. Nope. I'll try. Let me get that going. And for whatever reason, it wasn't focusing. Let me try that with the light on. Sometimes the light on gets it going. Nope. The Mori pods are not um, are not scanning. So all right. Well. We'll um, we'll see about we'll see about getting a link to those so that I can put it in the video description. So let's set those off to the side. But it looks like I have a couple more pairs of earbuds to try out. So that is going to be exciting. All right. Um, let's see here. Let's um, let's open this one. This one here. This one's a little. Heavy. You know what? Actually, it's not. Let's oh, let's set this one off to the side. Let's get some of these Amazon ones done so that we can uh, get these big ones off the table here because some of the Amazon ones have big boxes in here. So let's get the big ones off the table so we can make some space. And uh, let's see if we can cut through that. There we go. And let's see, what do we have in here? This is, oh, <laughs> this is actually perfect because, well, it is, uh, it's, it's summertime and many of us could use a nice barbecue kit. So <laughs> there we go. So we have a um, we have a barbecue kit. It has a stainless steel uh, barbecue tool set and for enhanced grilling, utensil accessories, camping, outdoor cooking, and toolkit. So yeah. All right, there we go. We can get, uh, you can see some, some delicious barbecue right there on the back and uh, also on the front there. And it says, Let's see. You know what? Let's just find out what's inside of it. Let's go. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's see if I can scan this first and find out what this is going to cost. And then let's go ahead. If it shows up, there we go. Look at that. It's coming up. I like it when they come up there. So let me, uh, there we go. Let me bring this uh, up a little bit. And this is going to be $36.99 right now. So, and you can get this through Amazon Prime. So there we go. $36.99, we can see all that's gonna come in there. So that's kind of cool. So 
Yeah, all right, let me go ahead and actually do this. Let me open this up so we can take a look at it and see, see what the stuff actually looks like a little bit. Because a lot of people, oh, this is dope already. Look at this. It comes in a nice case so that you can keep everything together. This is great because if you're one of those, if you're a pit master and you need to get your barbecue on, this is gonna be fantastic. It's gonna allow you to really uh, have everything all together. So we're gonna have a nice bottle for seasoning. Some people like to put oil in there. Some people like to put a little fuel or something. Um, we're going to have, it looks like a couple of pads here, our cutting, uh, cutting uh, I guess pads or, or boards that are rolled up there. And these are nice and washable so you can roll, you can use them, roll them up and then take them. And you can also just put stuff on here. So if you wanna keep your stuff uh, separate, maybe you wanna keep your fish separate from your, from your poultry or your poultry separate from your beef, you can do that. Or maybe you wanna keep stuff, your vegetables separate if you have people that are maybe, uh, you know, vegetarian or vegan, they don't want their meat touching stuff. You know, I mean, there are vegetables touching where meat's been, you can do that. Um, you have your seasoning thing. So you have your salt and uh, pepper shakers here, two of them. One salt, one pepper, I'd imagine. You're gonna get a uh, spatula here that you can use to, uh, to scoop stuff up. We are going to get a second spatula here. I believe this one's gonna be for, I don't know, whatever. This is bigger stuff, it's longer, so. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, look at this. You have one so that you have this uh, uh, scrub thing so you can clean off the grill, actually. So that's really important, especially if you're using a public grill. You wanna really clean that off before you cook anything on it, so. All right, then. Look at this, we even have another one. We have another uh, spatula that's even bigger. This is great, because if you have like, I don't know, two or three burgers you wanna get all off the grill at the same time, there you go. Um, another bottle here, and this is another one. This one has, I guess, a red top on there, so you can put two different things in there and know what they are. Um, we have another spatula even. Jeez, there's a lot. And another one. <laughs> <laughs> this one, I think this one's a scrape stuff because it's like a scraper thing there. Oh man, and and then this is like uh, like a, one of those. Oh, this one actually has a a, uh, a measuring thing on there. Oh, and a blade. This is this is sharpened on here. There's a blade. Let me just actually take this out so you can see that. That's kind of cool. Um, let me see if I can get this off without cutting myself because don't want to do that. But you can you might be able to see that there. There is a. Um, there's a ruler down there, and then this is this is an edge right there, so you can actually cut stuff. So maybe if you're chopping, uh, you know, maybe if you're chopping meat or vegetables or something, it's going to allow you to actually uh, do that, and uh, you can even measure out what you're uh, what you're chopping there. So all right, and then we also have God. There's a lot of stuff in here. This is incredible. Uh, these are I don't know what these things are. They're gasket. Looks like some sort of gaskets of some sort. Yeah, I don't know what those are about. We'll have to figure that out. Um, there's a, a brush in here. It looks like for basting stuff. And then we have a pair of tongs uh, in here so that you can uh, you can pick stuff up. So if you're, you know, picking vegetables up or maybe flipping something, you know, you can do that. So, all right, big ups to uh, big ups to them for all of this. There's a lot. You know what? I'm not even gonna try and put all this stuff back right now. I'm just gonna set it all to the side for the moment. And I will, <laughs> I will put all that stuff back in later because that is just a ton of stuff. That's a barbecue, that thing is 36 bucks. That's amazing that you get all of that for 36 bucks. I mean, if you went to the store, I imagine, and tried to buy each one of those pieces separately, you probably would spend probably like 100 bucks trying to get all that stuff, so, and yeah. Anyways, all right, here is another Amazon box. Let's open this one here, and let's see what's gonna be in here, and Let's see, what do we have? What do we have? Get through this, cut through that there. And let's see here. Oh, this is another perfect thing for summertime. Trust me, we are all gonna want, want these every once in a while, if not all the time. And this is a movable fan. This is a two-in-one lighting fan. And it has a USB, a USB type C uh, USB charger on there, has a 50 to 100 milliamp hour battery so that you can use this on the go. It has a hook so you can hook it to stuff. Um, multiple circuit protection, two amp safety, uh, quick charging, sa uh, safety and noiseless. Um, and it has an adjusting wind stepless speed regulation, as stepless speed regulation. All right, so there we go. Check that out. That is, uh, that's pretty cool there. So, and again, it, it has a DC five volt output type C charging interface. LED lightning switch, power display, fan switch. Yeah, all kinds of, oh, check this out. It even has a remote. 
You see, actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's just open this up. Let's get this thing out of the box and actually open this up so we can see what this is gonna look like. So this is actually pretty incredible. Um, it says there's a remote. Let me see, it must be in here in the bag. Oh yeah, I feel it. I feel it. Let's get that remote out. So, all right, set this over there. And there is, uh, there is the remote right there so that we can get that going. And then here is the fan right here. And you might be able to see there is an LED right there on the front so that you can, uh, a light right there on the front so that you can actually, uh, you can actually get this thing lit up. So if you're barbecuing or you're camping, you can have this going. And let's see, I don't know. Oh yeah, look at that. The light actually is on. And you can, you can uh, step it to get through the different uh, brightness levels. And then there's the fan. Let's see if the fan will turn on. Oh yeah, there we go. Woo, that feels good. Oh yeah, you can hit it and get multiple levels. That is nice. I like that a lot. This is gonna be handy because I can set this anywhere. I can set this on a table or I can I can uh, hook this somewhere. And let's see, is this thing gonna, oh no, it's still on. Let me see if I can turn this off. Let me make sure I get this all the way off. There we go. And there's actually four little lights on there. So you may see that. And let me turn it back on right quick and uh, see if we can get that. Let me see if I can get this on again. And there we go. Now you can see there's four little lights on there indicating the battery levels. And uh, I believe that's the battery levels there. Yeah, it is. So 25%, 50, 75, and 100. And if you push the button, it'll speed the fan up. And then you can uh, cycle through the different uh, fan speeds that way. And then you can get to the lowest level again. And if you push it and hold it, it'll just turn off. So, all right, big ups on that. And this is the, um, this is the X10 movable fan. And I don't, yeah, there is a, there is a barcode on there. So let me see if I can, um, let me see if I can find out what this thing is going to run and, uh, and the manufacturer's name in case you're interested. And I'm not having a, oh wait, I think it's, yeah, there we go. All right, here we go. This is the, it's called the FX EX Blend uh, Store. Very strange name. And it is, $29.99, so yeah, let's just check that out there so we can see that. That is what it's gonna look like there. And let me just scroll down a little bit here. And you can see there's two different colors. They have, um, they actually have black and they have green there so that you can choose whichever one you want. So let me see if I can make sure that you're seeing this properly. Let me drop that, that, uh, that brightness down on my phone a little bit so you can see it a little bit easier. And yeah, there you go, so all right. Big ups to uh, big ups to them. I can't pronounce their store name, but it looks like a really nice fan, which is going to come in some serious handy during the summertime. Because well, I mean, let's just be honest. The summertime is hot, and it seems like it's already getting extra hot this year. So, all right, let's move on to this one here because this one is, uh, you know, it's another Amazon one. And then the rest of them, I think they're not Amazon. I have, a, I think I have a couple from B and H and. And a couple from, I have no idea. I think they're just individual uh, manufacturers that sent stuff out. So, let's see. Oh, look at this. Look at this. What in the world is this? Anything that has to do with computers, I like it. Oh, this is the Smart Tree A380, uh, A380B. So, it's a Smart Tree A380B hard protective laptop case. Look at that. And, uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be nice there. Look at that. And so um, it says compatibility with a 13-inch laptop, uh, so it'll work with the MacBook Pro uh, or the MacBook Air, uh, also the 12.9-inch uh, iPad Pro, and yeah, it's made out of nylon and EV, uh, EVA, and yeah, this thing looks pretty cool. It weighs uh, what does it say? 1,260 grams, and it says it's hard shell. It's hard shell. Uh, 360 protection, uh, anti-water splash, and double zippers. And we can get an idea of what that's gonna look like if we actually have a, uh, a laptop or something in the case there. So yeah, this is pretty slick. You know what, let me do this. Let me actually open this up too. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, you know what, let me see if I can scan this first. Let me find out what this thing cost. And then, uh, then let's scan this, and, or uh, open it up, excuse me, and see what this is gonna look like. So let's get this thing scanned and see if that's gonna, if anything will show up. I don't think I'm not having the best of luck. I feel like I'm not having the best of luck scanning stuff today, but 
Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work here. I'll have to I'll have to put a link in the video description. All right, well, let's do this. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what this thing actually looks like and uh, just beyond the box here. So, all right, let's get this thing out. And there we go, set that right there. Let me get this out of the way. And here's the case. I, you know, one thing I like about this, there's not, it's not brand heavy. Like there's a little smart tree thing right there, but it's not like something big and massive on top of it. It's just a little bit of a name there. And uh, yeah, let me just set this box over there for the moment. And then uh, it has this nice rubberized handle. So you get a nice, really firm grip on it. Um, it has, uh, it has uh, hooks right here so that you can put a strap on there. So you have that on either side. I'm assuming there's gonna be a strap on the inside of this. And then, uh, and then it has the double zippers, like it said, and we can, um, and we can open this up. And look at that; it even, it even has the strap so that you can actually put your laptop here, and then have the key here, so you can actually have this set up, so you don't even have to take your laptop out of the case if you want to use it. That's really, really slick. Um, and so we have, uh, we have this, which is actually removable if you want to. And again, this is where it is. You can put your laptop right here in there, lift it up, and then you don't even have to take this out of the case. You can just use it inside the case. That's just really kind of, that's really kind of cool. Um, yeah, so we have some congratulations cards. We have a, um, we have uh, some stuff about their other products in there. We also have, a, it looks like another sort of, uh, sort of, uh, case thing that we can put stuff on and you can see here actually there's cutouts in here even so you can put like your charger or some accessories in there all kinds of stuff this is this is a really really cool case i have to say i'm impressed i like it a lot okay big up smart tree i mean i'll tell you if you're somebody who really um if you if you're out and about traveling and you have your laptop out with you or you have your uh your ipad you know your ipad pro or something and you wanna make sure your stuff is protected in case you drop it or you toss it around in the back of a car or whatever, a case like that is really gonna serve you well so that you don't end up, you know, just breaking your, your computer so or your tablet, so. All right, let's open this up here. Let's get this one open. Oh, you know what, let's do this. Let's get the big one out of the way first. This big one is right in the way and uh, let's get this one opened up and this one is from uh, from B and H, and I don't know what it is, but because it's from B and H, I'm gonna assume that it is photo and video related because that's what B and H. Well, B and H actually now they sell everything. They sell computers and they sell cell phones and um, just all kinds of stuff. So, um, oh look at that. What is this? This is um, I have no idea. Let me just. This is from Oban. And I know Oban actually makes tripods and stuff like that, which I absolutely love because I have one of my favorite tripods. It's a little mini tabletop tripod from Oban and it is a carbon fiber one and it's fantastic. I use that thing all the time. Uh, but this one is the Oban ADS 1514 aluminum desk stand. Look at that. And this is going to have a uh, it says it's gonna have a weighted base, adjustable sections, a quarter 20 stud, and twist locks. And it says you are steady on steady ground. Look at that right there. This is going to allow you to put a microphone on there. So if you're vlogging or excuse me, podcasting or live streaming or something, and you want a microphone on the desk, but you don't want it to just fall over, or tip over or something like that. This is gonna allow you to be able to do that really nicely. So big ups on them. And this is, uh, yeah, this is the front of it right there. And um, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get this out of the package right quick, so we can try this out and see what this is actually going to look like. All right, let's see here. See if I can get this thing open and slide this out. And let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. There is that's so that's the uh, that is the the pole right there. This is the set. Those are the sections, and you can twist those and uh, and lock them down. I'd imagine. So let's see how that. I guess that twists that way. I'll have to see if I can get this. I think it goes the other way maybe. There we go. All right, there, that's locked down. Here is the base, which definitely is weighted. It's kind of like a little mini uh, shot, I'm not, a little mini discus if you ever played, uh, if you ever uh, ran track or anything or did any field events. Um, so you just go ahead and screw that in. And there we go. Now you can set this right here on your table. 
And right, if I had a microphone right here, this would be perfect height. It would be right here, and I can talk and blah, 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 yada, 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 and it would be right here, and I can have a nice, large diaphragm microphone right in front of me. So, yeah, that's that's cool. And if you needed it taller, you could, you could um, loosen this up, and then there you go. You have it, you have the sectional thing. And I can get it even taller there if I needed to. If I if I needed to make it really tall, I could do that. that. That's probably too tall for me. But if I really wanted this thing like literally right in front of my face, it could be right there. But I feel like if I lowered this down to right here and had a large di diaphragm microphone right here, that's going to give me really optimum sound. So, all right, big ups on Oven. I'm going to have to get a um, I'm going to have to get a microphone in so that I can actually uh, I can actually try this out and see how it performs. So now let me go ahead and set this back in there. And there we go. And let me put this in here as well. And there's something else in there. There was something else in this, uh, there was something else in this bag here. And I'm not exactly sure what it is. It's very small. So let me, uh, let me open this bag up so I can see what this is. They put it, they tied it up in a bag, which I appreciate to make sure it didn't get lost inside the box there. So um, this is a, this is a USB, this is a Peristone USB-C to micro USB adapter. Okay, all right, look at that. You know, this is one of those things that you don't think about <laughs> until you need them. And I'm gonna open this up. I just wanna see what this thing looks like. It's so tiny. This is, I mean, if you're gonna make an adapter, this is the way to make an adapter. Some people make adapters that are big and bulky and obnoxious. Look how tiny that is. That is really, really small there. But look at that. So you have USB-C on one end there, and then you have, on this side, you have the USB, the, uh, the micro USB port to go in there. So um, if you have a cable, for instance, let's say you had an old Android phone that used uh, micro USB, and now you're actually using a, a more uh, modern phone that uses USB-C, you can actually go ahead, plug that, uh, cable. you can still use your cable by plugging the micro USB port in there and then plugging in the USB-C port on the other end. So yeah, all right, let me go ahead and I'm just gonna stick this up on the table just out of frame there because um, yeah, that thing is so small. If I just toss it over into the pile over there, it's gonna get lost. So, <laughs> all right, let's open this one up here. Um, I have no idea what this one is. Actually, let me see if there's a better side to open it. Yeah, let's open it on this side here. I think this probably is a, a better side, a little bit easier side to open this up on. So let's see if I can get through this. And I'm gonna have to clean my knife with all this, opening all this, all these boxes with all this tape. There's just a lot of, uh, a lot of glue on my knife. So set that over there. Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. All right, it looks like we have the, uh, it looks like we're gonna have the, uh, the GoV R, uh, RGB IC, and this is the, uh, the GoV Home app. Uh, what is this? It says Color Sense. Oh, these are RGB LED TV backlights. Look at that. All right, check that out. I was trying to figure out what in the world these things are. Let me get the other one out too, that what else is in here, and then we'll see if we can just open them up and take a look at them. Um, yeah, there we go. So let's set that off to the side. And this is the Govi um, Aura table lamp. And this is a, uh, does it have, oh yeah, it says it works with Alexa, works great, it works with uh, Google Assistant and the Govi Home app. And it's unclear if this is also a speaker. Yeah, I guess it is, it says smart control, a uh, light show feature, dimmable, uh, sleep aid wake up, music sync, and finger sketch. And yeah, so there we go. I think it's also a speaker, but it says lamp. So anyways, there we have it. That is a look at it right there. And yeah, that is, you know, let's just get this, let's do this, let's open it up. There's a little bit of tape on there. Let's, uh, let's actually open this up here and then get this out. And actually, I think I didn't even need to use my knife. They had a little thing that said open right there. So I guess I could have just pulled the tab. Um, but let's get this out. We have some user manual and stuff in there. And then this is going to be, I'd imagine all of the, uh, all of the, um, cables and stuff here. So let's see what they, let's see what they give us with the cables. And it looks like we are going to get, it looks like a USB-C to whatever that is there. I guess that's going to, I guess that right there is going to get us plugged into the actual lamp. Um, 
And then on this one, we're going to have, I guess this is going to be the power cable. Yeah, so this is gonna be uh, the power cable right there so that we can uh, get this all plugged in. All right, big ups on that. Um, and then let's take the lamp out and see what the lamp is going to look like. And yeah, um, let's see, where is this gonna be at? So, all right, let's see. Oh, look at that. Now this is cool. We can see here, wow, something had a lot of static on there. I could feel, as soon as I pulled it out, my hair started pulling up on my arm. So, but here is, here is the lamp right there. And uh, that is the top of it, if you can see that. And then, um, you know, it doesn't look like much right now because it's not plugged in. You really have to plug this in and get the whole lighting effect to it. So, um, yeah, I think, I think maybe there's just gonna be an alarm. I don't think there's, it says music sync, but I'm not sure if this actually, I don't think this is an actual speaker as well because I don't see any grill or anything on here for make it look like a speaker. I think if you're listening to music, you can set it up so it'll, so the lights will change and move and sort of dance along with the music so you can have that music sync thing going on. And then, um, and then you can also set it up with Alexa and, and, or Google or the Govi, I guess, home app if you want to use their, their own app. So, um, so that's kind of nice. So if you're into that sort of thing, all the home automation stuff, you can, you can do that. And then you can, um, and then you can set this up. So like, maybe you feel like you're in a blue mood. You can say, you know, maybe you can tell Alexa to change the color of your lamp to blue. You know, or maybe you're in a hot mood, so you want to change it to red, you know? So yeah, I think this is going to be kind of cool, especially if you're, if you just want to have some fun with it. So big ups to them. Oh, oh you know what? I think I actually missed out and put, forgot to put the user manual stuff back in there. All right, let me get that in there. And all right, moving on. Now we have the GoV Immersion RGB IC LED TV backlight. And there we have it. That is, yeah. There, there we go. It says this is, uh, it says there's two and there's 70 centimeters by two, by 120 centimeters. Let's just open them up. Let's just open this up. Let's get this uh, opened up, see what it looks like. And uh, I've never really used these, these LED, these RGB LED backlights, but I know a lot of people really like them. Um, let's see if I can actually open this without having to break the seal here. Um, Let's see, I think I might be able to, it looks like there's a Ziploc feature on there, so I might be able to get these open. All right, oh yeah, so there we go. So yeah, you can see it's gonna have the, uh, here we go. So it's gonna roll up like this. It almost looks like a film reel, and you'll be able to roll this and put it around your TV set or in the back of it there, so you can have this turned on and uh, illuminate the back uh, behind your TV set. So it looks kind of cool. I've seen people do this when they have TVs on their wall or, or you know in a room somewhere. And it actually does look pretty cool. So, um, you know, if you're into that sort of thing and you want that look, this is going to be a way that you can actually achieve that look. So, um, you're also going to get in here with it some cables and stuff that you need to plug this in. So, all right. Um, let's just see with the user manual and all that. And then um, it looks like there's going to be, what is this? Oh, some sticker things, some like squishy pad sticker things that you need to uh, for mounting if you uh, actually want to put them up, if you want to mount them somewhere. Um, let's see, I'll just set that off to the side for the moment. Um, looks like we are going to have, I don't know what this is. Um, it almost looks like there's a camera on there or something. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what that is. I'll have to look it up and figure it out a little bit later. It almost looks like there's a little camera on there or something, but yeah. All right, we'll set that back inside there and um, set that back inside there. And then in here, we're also going to get, um, there's a lot of stuff that comes in here. Wow. Um, what is this? Oh, this is a controller. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that there. Let's see if we can get that in there. Yeah, that's a little controller so that you can actually control the stuff. So, all right, big ups on that. And there's more, there's just a lot of mounting stuff in there. So it looks like you're gonna get a, the power cable here. So there's gonna be the, uh, the power brick. And then we have the, all the mounting stuff. And there's all, even some, uh, there's even some alcohol pads in here if you need to clean off the areas that you're gonna mount it to. So, all right, let's go ahead 
And um, let's go ahead and get this stuff back in here and I'll just set this stuff off to the side. I'll get that all squared away later so we can move on. And let's, uh, let's open this one here and see what this is. And I'm not exactly sure what this one is. I think I have an idea. This one actually might not be like a product someone sent me. I think this, yeah, this is, um, this is actually my, this is actually my knife. <laughs> we'll throw that off to the side. So this is one of the things I have a, this is my second bench made uh, knife right here. So this is, this one here is the, uh, this is the bench made um, mini freak right here. This is a limited edition with the natural G10 scales, uh, uh, G10 handle there and uh, S90V steel on the blade. It is, some people commented that they thought, oh, this is cool, it's like, a, it's like an assisted opening knife because it, it just flies right open. It's not, it's actually a manual opening knife, but I believe there's ball bearings in there so that when you use the thumb studs and flick it open, it just flies right on open, but it's still a manual opening knife. So if you're in an area that does not allow for you to have uh, a assisted opening knife, but you want something that opens quickly, this is something that can do it. But the knife that they actually sent back is one that I actually reviewed a while ago, which was my old favorite knife, which still is my favorite knife actually, which is the Benchmade Bug Out. And we can see here that, um, that they just basically sharpened it up and sent it back to me. And the reason why um, I got a new knife and don't carry this one is um, in my state, I can actually carry whatever knife I want to basically. But in DC, which is just next door, and I actually, uh, often go over there, is you can only carry a knife with a blade of three inches or less. And this blade is 3.24 inches. So it's a little bit too long. And I don't wanna have to worry about trying to remember which knife I have in my pocket at the time and then get over there and actually have this one and it's not legal and I get myself in trouble. Don't wanna deal with any of that. So I just got myself a knife with a shorter blade and that's why I got this one there. But this is the, uh, this is the Benchmade bug out. And yeah, this thing, they have, they have fixed it up for me. It feels so snappy now. Like before it was all sticky because at the beginning of the pandemic, every time I would, I would open all the stuff with my boxes or, or whatever, I was spraying this thing down with Lysol and, and cleaning it off with a hand sanitizer. It was, it just got to be a sticky jammed up mess. And so Anyways, I sent it in because Benchmade offers lifetime sharpening and maintenance on their knives. So yeah, it's fantastic. They will they will hook you up. So um, anyways, you can see here, this thing just, it does, it just flies right open. It has a nice, just a nice snappy feel to it. And this thing is super light, 1.8 ounces. That's just nuts. Anyways, let me set that off to the side. I love that knife, it's fantastic. And they sent me a, uh, they sent me a nice pouch to put this in, you know, put this back in. So let me go ahead and uh, put this off to the side. And let's see, let me open up this one here and see what we have. And let's see, there we go. And get this thing opened. And this, oh, if you guys are interested in those Benchmade knives too, I just want to warn you, they're not cheap. So <laughs> if you are, oh, this, there's two of them in here. I was trying to open it up from the bottom. There's actually, this is two boxes stuck together. So yeah, these things are not cheap at all. I mean, they are, um, the Benchmade Bug Out is a, is a more affordable one. That one is, um, that one is $124 or something like that. And then the Mini Freak here, this one is a limited edition one. This one was about 210, something like that. So they're not cheap, but the good thing is a knife like this, you buy this, you never have to buy another pocket knife again. You just, you can use this basically forever because they're going to, um, they, they have, they have a limited lifetime warranty, I believe. And they will, and they, I don't know how this thing opens. Let me see if I can get in here. Um, but they will continue to sharpen your knife and everything for free and service it for free. All you have to do is send it in to them. So, all right. All right. This is the, this is the, uh, the Nakia that says the best gift. Oh, these are truly wireless earphones. Look at that. Um, it says the uh, the uh, the Na Na Naenkia Naenkia truly wireless stereo earphones. Bluetooth 5.0, AAC, um, aptics, ENC noise canceling, 13 millimeter large uh, aperture uh, drivers, um, dual host flash connection, and lightweight four grams. All right, well. Let me show you the let me show you the back because that's where you can actually see them there, 
and yeah, and it has this like this nice pink box, which is uh, you know sort of cool if you're you know if you're looking for uh, a gift you know for a woman that's kind of cool or a guy that's into pink. Um, and let's see, let's open this over here, and let's see if we can get this thing opened up again on this side and see, because I think it's probably gonna be the same thing, but who knows, maybe they sent me two of the same, um, two of the same thing, of the, or maybe two different units, but same brand, so let's see here. Yeah, so that's what this, so this one here also says the best gift, and this one is also the, uh, the Nyanka, Nyanka, Nike, yeah, I think it's Nyanka. And yeah, so there we go. Let me show you this one here. You can check that one out. That's what that's going to look like. So there we have it. And there is an Amazon barcode on there. So let me, uh, let me actually go ahead. Jeez, I have stuff all over me from like all kinds of uh, just dust and, and cardboard and stuff. So let me see if I can get this open. Let me scan this barcode. And this is actually coming up. All right, look at that. This is going to be $52.90, and there's an actual $5 off coupon, or 5% off coupon, excuse me. So, yeah, all right, let me, just, let me show you this right quick. That is what they are going to look like. So you can see that there, and uh, pretty cool. All right, now that one is, this is, the Nokia Light Pro TWS, or Truly Wireless, and uh, let me see what the other one is going to be, because the other one I think is a, is a bit different here. So, let me see. There we go, this one's coming up now. All right, yeah, this is going to be, uh, these are the Nokia, the, the, get that name, it's just killing me, the Nokia, <laughs> the Nate, Inca, Not Inca, I'm just gonna call them Not Incas, and it's the same thing, it says the Not Inca Light, and this one is the Light, I guess they're both the lights. But this one is $39.90, and this one also has a 5% off coupon. And yeah, so there, oops, let me see. Let me get out of that. Let me just show you here, basically, there we go. That's what that's gonna look like there. So yeah, I think I might actually, uh, I think I might actually do an unboxing and, and, uh, and review these a little bit later. So there we have those, oop, well, there they go. <laughs> All right, I have some more boxes back here. Let's, oh, let's grab these. And this is another big one here. And man, I'll tell you, there's just, it's, it's a lot of stuff today. It is a lot of stuff today. All right, let's, uh, this one, the tape is almost mostly open. So let's just cut through there a little bit. Cut through, uh, cut through there. If we can get through there, cut through there. See if we can get through there. All right, there we go. And uh, let's see what this is and let's just get this out of here man i have a lot of boxes i'm gonna be breaking down boxes for like an hour after this all right <laughs> let's see here we have the the green note true hepa air purifier look at that all right, I like that. I probably have needed one of these for a long time and just haven't had it. I, I, yes, I live in a place where I'm right on top of like a flower bed and, and bushes and stuff. So there's all kinds of pollen and everything. Anyways, this is the, uh, this is the True HEPA, the Green Note True HEPA Air Purifier. And this is the, uh, the Air, the, uh, the Aerocol AP10. Look at that. And, Let's see here, it says it's good for a living room, a bedroom, a study room, and meeting room. And specs are, it says, that it tells us tells us A10. It is noise levels from 22 dB to 49 dB. Um, yeah, net weight's only 1.7 uh, kilograms. And you know what, let's open this up. I wanna see what this actually looks like. Um, and then, Let's, yeah, let's just take this out. So it looks like we're gonna get the user manual there, which is always nice to have. We're going to get a uh, power adapter, which we are going to need. And then let's take this off and see if we can pull this out. And there we go, let's get that out of there. Oh, it's not very heavy. I thought, I should have known it wasn't heavy because the box wasn't that heavy. I mean, the box had a little bit of weight to it, but not really. But sometimes, you know, you get the box and there's all kinds of 
packing stuff in there, sometimes that weighs it down. But yeah, all right, let's get this thing out of here. And uh, uh, yeah, there we go. Look at that. All right, I think this thing actually opens up at the bottom so that you can put a filter in there. And yeah, look at that. You can take the filter right on out there and that's the filter. And I guess you can, um, I guess these are gonna be easily replaceable. And then this is gonna be the fan, I guess, that sucks stuff in, sucks the air in, I guess, there. And yeah, and then this goes right back on top and locks down pretty easily. There's little rubber feet on there so that it stays put if you are, um, you know, if you set this on a table or something, you can see the little rubber feet. This is how you grab that to, to, uh, to actually twist it off. And then right on top, is where you're gonna get all the controls and stuff there. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty easy to use and uh, pretty cool. So, all right, and you can see on the table just how light and how small this thing is. So it's gonna be pretty simple. So, all right, big ups. Let's set this over here and uh, gosh, this is this is amazing how much stuff there. You know, let me put this stuff back in the box here and I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put this, uh, actually I'm gonna put the, the filter, the HEPA, uh, purifier. Let me grab that. Oh, you know what? There's something in the back too. I, oh, that's just where it plugs in. That's just where it plugs in in the back there. But let me go ahead and put this thing back in there and let me put the charger and all that stuff back in there. Set that there and put this back over there. And now let me set this off to the side. All right. And woo. This is nuts. This is bona fide nutness right here. I mean, this is crazy. Oh man. All right. I may have to start breaking these up into, into multiple parts or something because this is taking a long time. And I still have three more packages back here I need to open up. So let's start off with this one here. Um, let's get this thing up here. Ugh. It's a little bit heavy, but let's get this open. I have no idea what this is. It's long, I'll tell you that much. It must be some sort of, maybe it's a table or something? I don't know. But it is, it's, no, this has to be a, this has to be, no, I don't know what this thing is. It Maybe it is a table, it's heavy, I'll tell you that much. Let's see if we can get this thing untaped. Now oh, I think there's more tape over here. And uh, let's see, let's see what is more. Yeah, there's more tape over here somewhere. And all right, let me set this knife over here so I don't cut myself. And then I think I can get it out. And there is a case with it, which is a good thing to see. Oh, oh my gosh, what is this thing? There is some. I mean, it's a case, so I'm assuming it, it looks like it's probably a tripod or something because of this, this, the case, but it's too heavy for a tripod. This is definitely not a tripod, it's just too heavy. Oh my goodness, here we go. Here we go, something that every single filmmaker and photographer should have, and that is a C-stand. So we are going to have, you know, I don't even know who sent this. Um, I don't know if there's any, I don't see any, I don't see any paperwork in here and I don't know if there's anything on the box. Let me see if there's something on the box here. Um, nope, that's just an address label, address label, nothing. There's nothing, it's like there's no branding. I understand these companies, companies, come on, put some branding on your stuff. How am I supposed to give you your proper shine if I don't even know the name of your company that the that the product is coming from. Um, all right, well here it is. This is a C stand. We're gonna have all kinds of poles in here. We're gonna have uh, we're gonna have the 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 legs part, the feet part there that you can set these down. Um, there's going to be the here's the parts that you can go ahead and um, and let me just show. You, let me just open this up right quick so that you can see what this is gonna look like. So this is where you can put those, like some of these poles in there and then tighten this down and lock it all into place here. And um, and then here is a, a clamp there that you can use 
if you need to clamp something, maybe like a, a flag or a drape or something, you get a couple of those, uh, a couple of these things where you can put the poles in. Um, you have the main, oh, you get a couple of these, uh, a couple of these uh, clamps here. I forgot what they call these things, but there's a few of them there. There's like two, three. Yeah, I think there's like three of them. And then here is the main, uh, here's the main pole for the C stand, the main part of it here. And this is just, yeah, it's got a little weight to it. And you want your C stands to have weight to them because they are designed to be able to, to hold heavy stuff like heavy lights or large microphones or cameras and you want them heavy so that they don't tip over so if you have something that's sort of front heavy that your stand will still be able to uh, withstand the withstand it and, and remain balanced so all right um i'm gonna have to try and figure out who sent this so i can put it in the video description i mean i can put it in the yeah in the video description a link to it but i don't know who sent it and i'm trying to get this thing back in there there we go Let's see if i can get that in there all right and let me get this pole in here this is gonna this is gonna allow you to put something on you know to uh, mount it like overhead or something so if you want it to mount a microphone or a camera or something or whatever you can do something like that so all right let me uh let me zip this up and set this off to the side and again companies I, I don't know what to tell you um, if you don't put a brand name or a sticker or a tag or something in there, I can't give you your shine. So, uh, you know, anyways, let me set this over here. Let me just lay that down back there and set that over there. And let me look inside right quick. Let me just look inside this box and see if there's a label and nope, nada. Okay. <laughs> this is crazy. All right, well, we have two more boxes to get to, and then we're done, so let's jump into them. All right, let's just grab this one right behind me here, and, uh, oh, you know what, actually, we'll grab this one here. This one, instead of that one, this one, is, this is the one that's actually right behind me. So let me grab this one here, and see what, the, what we have inside. All right, let's go ahead and cut through all of this, uh, let's cut through all this tape here, and, and packaging, whatever you call this stuff, this uh, cable stuff that keeps it all locked in together. Let's uh, get through that. And uh, there we go. And let's cut through this, uh, let's cut through this tape here. And there we go, let's get through that. And let's see here. I think I need to get through on this side over here. And there we go. Let me get through on this side. And whew, man. All right, let me, uh, that, this thing, now this one, uh, this one's even heavier than the last one. And I have no idea what this is. Uh, all right, let's, uh, let's set that, let's flip that over there. And I think this is a box inside of a box. Uh, uh. Oh, the box is trying to cut my head off. Oh, there, uh, Jiminy Christmas, what is this thing? Uh, silica gel. <laughs> we have lots and lots of silica gel. All right, oh, okay. Woo, oh, man, guess what it is? <laughs> it's funny. I haven't had a C stand. I've never owned a C stand, and all of a sudden, in the same week, I get two of them. And this is this is the uh, this is the impact column stand with sliding arm. Yes. All right. This is. I'm not gonna open this. Uh, this is the. This is the impact column stand with sliding arm. It says weight load, uh, load capacity is 17 pounds. Maximum height is 7.25 uh, feet or 2.2 meters. Sliding arm with pistol grip, locking wheels, removable extension column, reversible three and an eighth inch to uh, one quarter, uh, to a quarter 20 pin. And yeah, so there we have it. Another C stand. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. And you're gonna see, I'm gonna do a video, I'm gonna do a review, I think, on this one, and you'll see why C stands are so absolutely incredible and everyone should have them if you're making videos or photography, if you're doing photography. So, all right, let me set this off to the side. And uh, there we go. Oh, well, there we go, it's over there. It's leaning to the side, it might fall over. Let's, uh, we have one more here. And, oh, geez. <laughs> I don't even need to look. I don't even need to open this one. Let me just go ahead and grab this over here and show you. This is, uh, I don't know if you can actually see that, but this is the Impact 40 inch quick release sliding leg C stand. And there we have it. So we, all of us, that's just nuts. And one, I haven't had a C stand and all of a sudden in one week now I have three of them. So. These are going to replace all of my light stands because I would much rather have C stands than my light stands since they're not going to, I'm not moving my stuff around very much. Now, if you're moving your stuff around, you may not want to have C stands all the time because they're heavy. But if you're not moving your stuff, C stands are fantastic. So, all right, let me set this off to the side and I'm going to put this over here. And this one's much lighter. So, yeah. That column stand was really, really heavy. That must be something else with that. So, but that, um, but that C stand, that other one is 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 relatively light. That other one was heavy too. So, Whew. all right, that's it. That's everything for this week. I'm not putting everything up here on the table for the outro because it's just way, way too much. I'm sweating. Where's my, where's my, where's my, my hanky? Whew. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna put links to everything down below, but that was a big, massive haul video. All right, everyone, there you have it. That is it. That is my second weekly haul video for June 2021, and this one was a doozy. I thought last week was big. This one is even bigger. Lots of very cool stuff and just a lot of it. It took a long time to get through this video. Man, I'm telling you, if you've hung with me all the way through the end, Big ups to you. You are a straight up OG viewer and I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Man, this is crazy how much stuff there is. So I'm gonna have to do some reviews and I'm probably gonna be giving some, some stuff away. I doubt I'm gonna be giving those C stands away cause they're just gonna cost a lot to ship and I won't be doing that. But some of the earphones and that type of stuff, those are gonna be given away. So look for those coming up real, real soon. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. I'm gonna leave links to everything down below in the video description so that you can check them out. I'm also gonna leave links to my Amazon page and my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.